Hey guys, Snippy here. So earlier today, Blizzard released some tunings for 10.2. The first tuning since the patch was actually released. And I gotta say, some of it stuff is the best things that could happen. Especially in regards to kind of what went wrong in last season with Augmentation Evoker. Uh, so yeah, here's me reacting to it earlier on the stream today. Let's take a look. Spoiler, in this, I think it's the best change coming in 10.2 PP. Uh, or like one of the best things that could happen. But let's dive into it. So, Unholy DK... Death Cold damage increased by 10%. Scourge Strike slash Calling Shadows damage increased by 10%. Ghoul damage increased by 8%. Vir Virulent Plague increased by 20%. And Apocalypse Ghoul increased by 5%. So, like, no nothing, like, too insane. But, uh, Train Blue, I, th I think so there. He he's a DK main. I think he's happy with these. And I think DK mains, Unholy mains, will be happy with this as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, some DK buffs. Then we have some Vengeance Deej stuff. This won't really affect PP because there's no Vengeance really in PP. There's only Brucin playing some Vengeance. Uh, so we don't really mind about this too much. Some Terrace changes it seems. For, for Druid. Guardian. Mangle now grants 12 range. Rage was 10. Best change is coming up. It's coming up. Calf from Energy Regen increased by 50%. It was 35. Okay. Guardian Druid. So Boomy. It seems like they're basically like buffing... Cat form slash feral for the other specs and kind of making like a bit more potent. Same, same for Boomy. Uh, and then Resto gets increased rip damage by 140%. Not MPP. The Rake, 6% MPP. Shred as well, MPP. And uh, Bite damage increased by 200%, but that's not MPP. So, seems like pretty big like damage buffs for feral in P uh, for Resto in PvE, uh, but won't really matter in PP that much. So, slight buffs for PP though. And guys, now for the best thing I would say for PP is the AUG nerves. Augmentation has been such, um, I would say a bad thing in Season 2 for PP. Okay, it's not been good for the game. In 3s, it's been like the meta, like AUG Feral, AUG DK, AUG anything has been the best comp. It's been, that's like one of the reasons I barely played 3s last season. I got glad I wasn't really into it, man. I was just... Every game, AUG. I actually didn't play one game of AUG Feral, by the way, in threes. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. But yeah, so here we go. Let's go through it. So, notes. Yo, by the way, Baxter, thank you, Baxter, for the five months. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Alright, let's see here. Uh, the amount of utility that the augmentation evoker brings on top of his high damage has proven to be too powerful despite recent changes. So, they actually like, nerfed him before as well a bit. Uh, therefore, we're further uh, reducing their damage contributions to, to be group to the group in order to balance them against other specs. Even Mike grants six point five percent of of the Evoker's primary stat was eight percent. I think that's actually pretty big. Like, it doesn't seem like that big, but all these things on top of each other uh, definitely kind of are a pretty big deal. Uh, close as clutch mains increased the effectiveness of Even Might and Breath of Eons by ten percent was twenty percent. The, the the amount of verse uh, granted by shooting sands has been has been reduced by fifteen percent. So like this on top of I believe their like new tear set is not as good, right? As the last one, or, or am I trolling on that? I believe that's the case. Um. So yeah, like all these things compiled okay, compiled should be quite good for the game, I think, uh, and kind of shift away from aug meta. So. You love to see it. It's still going to be good. I think it's still going to be strong. But it's not going to be like in every game in 3v3, you know? So, great change, I would say. Then we have Frost Mage. Uh, Terra two, uh, Set 2-piece increases spike damage by 16%. Was 10, so buff there. Uh, damage from, from Explosion now deals 50% damage dealt by Glacial Spike. Was 20. Then we have... Brewmaster, two sets. Breath of Fire bonus damage increased by to 40% was 20. Dude, we're going to see more Brewmaster mana. Maybe uh, Bruce has come back in the Brewmaster dream. Uh, four set bonus damage to targets if, uh, afflicted by Breath of Fire increased to 15 was 10. And then Windwalker Monk. Blackout reinforcement granted by melee abilities now occurs 66% more often increases blackout kick damage by 200% was 150. I think Windwalker Terra set was, like, was not very good. I'm not sure if this is going to make it very good. Uh, or like worth playing. Um, 
We'll see, we'll see. Red Paladin, flat, 3% buff. I'm sure the rest are pr pretty happy with that. Discipline Priest. Disc healing throughput, particularly in raids, is slightly higher than we'd like, given the damage ability and, and, and contribution to the group. To balance them, reducing some talents that are giving a lot of power for only one talent point. The goal is to improve talent balance while also bringing them in line with other healers. Okay, so like some slight nerves for um, Disc Priest. And then Asarog. Guys, Asarog is like one spec that I was underestimating moving into tempo 2. Like they're actually insane. Uh, they're very scary. Uh, force of set bonus. Uh, Tooltip shows. Okay. A okay. So accurately shows the output. And then four set piece set single target damage increased by 4%. Okay. And now Destro Warlock. Flame Rift damage increased by 50%. From the tear set, a civil tear increased by five percent, shadow tear increased by five percent, chaos tear increased by thirty percent. I don't like how big this really is. Um, maybe like a warlock could uh, talk on that more, but yeah. Demo, doom brand single target damage increased by fifty percent, and then doom fiend single target damage increased by forty percent. Those things being tied to the tear set, it's pretty big. Okay, I see. I see. Destro could be kind of scary. And then we have um, two sub bonus. Now reduce the cooldown of, of Grimoire Felguard by 0 0.5 seconds. What's one second? And then note reducing the power of, of Demo previous set bonuses to bring it in line with other set bonuses from, from Abris. Additionally, we're increasing the throughput of both Destro and Demo set bonuses from Emergisil while also increasing the power of Dimensional Rift baseline. Okay. So, guys, there it is. The new tunings. Again, the biggest thing is the AUG thing. Like, AUG. Had this coming and maybe a bit more, but we'll see how it's going to be. But yeah, there it is. The first like tunings of 10.2 really, at least after the patch came out. So good stuff. Now it's going to buff Feral self healing, but yeah, nice.